Very good afternoon, everybody. The usual sound checks now. Just plugging in there. Hope everyone's all right. Dun -de -dun. He's online. Good, good. There he is. Quick. Dear thoughts are in my mind, and my soul soars enchanted. How's that? I'll hear in a minute. <laughs> I have to wait a few seconds for it to catch up. Let's just see. Yeah, piano's working. I'll just do a quick bit of building bridges. Check we could hear that as well. Right, so we're all on. I'll put that there. Actually, just check I can still hear the sound. La 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 la. Good building bridges works. Excellent. We are all set. So I should put that back in there. And I'll say hello to my lovely people. Hello, Lewis. Oh, fantastic to see you, sir. Do you know, I had a message from Katie Sobey yesterday. Um, I sent her a tweet a while ago because the Yoda, which you'll have seen, I'm not sure where he is at the moment. I think the kids have got him. Uh, but the Yoda was a present from her back in, I think, 2007 when you guys uh, left school. And uh, I just wanted to know I still got it. And so I heard from her. And, and so that's two of you guys who were successful musicians and recording artists and so on. Well, of course, I'm happy to take full credit for that. <laughs> it's great to see you, mate. All right, hope all's well with you. Hello, Heather. Thank you for your email um, and for the wonderful suggestion of the song for today. Um, we are going to be singing The Lark in the Clear Air, um, and it's the most beautiful song. It really is. I've got a lovely version for you. You can find the score, hopefully, in the comments. We're at that, sort of, that point of the afternoon where I hope the comments have come out. Let me just double check. If I go to the website over here on my screen here and just see. If I click show more, I can see all the words. Nice. So it all works. Marvellous. <laughs> so you can get your score for today in the comments down below. Fantastic. Uh, Lewis, don't, don't worry about it. It's great to see you. Thanks for popping in. All the best for your... Uh, into a master's degree in media composition. Good on you. Have fun. All right. Great to see you. Thanks for popping in. Uh, who else have we got? Hello, Michael. Let me see. Thank you for your comment on the uh, recording video. Um, and I'll talk more about that in a minute. That's uh, That was something I thought was important to do at this point, as people are asking more and more about how they can get involved in sending videos in. Hello, Albert. Great to see you. Thanks a lot for coming along. Uh, hello, Glyn. Hello, Anne. Uh, wonderful to see everybody, and it's great that you're all having a chat in the comments. Fabulous. I'm just going to busy myself with a couple of little bits and pieces. Good, good, good. That's all fine. Glyn's done a tenor solo. Let's have a listen to that. Oh, okay, no, I'll listen to that in, in a minute. <laughs> Fabulous. That's going to be a little secret project. Those of you in the Larks Community Choir will be getting on with. Um, but, of course, they all know about that. Super stuff. So that's all working. The stream is on. I'm just going to get the sheet music up on here. And just how is everybody today? You're all well? Keeping okay? The weather here is glorious. It's all, all good. The saga of the laptop continues, sadly. Um, it, it took a bit of a an interesting turn. Really quite sad, actually. That's one of those, one of those things that... Um, Hang on, I'm just going to open this. Yeah, so for those of you who are in any way interested, if you're not, this is why I'm telling you this now before the official broadcast. This won't be on the, the finished product when I upload it later on. Um, 
But yes, I ordered this laptop about a month ago now. Um, custom specs, you know, everything you'd, you'd want on a laptop. Lots of processor power, lots of RAM, so it's, it can hold lots of stuff in its memory. Nice big hard drive um, and a piece of software. The key, the reason I had to order this uh, laptop was a piece of software called Final Cut Pro, which is what everybody uses uh, in the video industry um, to create interesting videos and the key is that it can cope with lots and lots and lots of multiple videos very very easily. I've been using a piece of software called iMovie which comes with the Apple Mac and long story short if you want to create one of these mosaics with more than one person all singing together, a bit like the Eric Weatherall video I did, My Mag and Love, um, it can only import one video at a time so you have to shoot the first bit with me singing in the middle then you overlay one video then you have to mix it down which takes about half an hour for the video to process then you re-import that video and you add another one and then another and another and the whole thing takes hours and hours and hours and I think the Eric Weatherall video took about eight hours in total of just that process incredibly time consuming and frustrating whereas Final Cut Pro do it all in one go press go and it's done um, the, the massive disadvantage to the iMovie system is if you get one step wrong, you have to start all over again at the beginning. So I ordered this laptop and um, followed it on the tracker all the way from China, where it, was, where it was put together, to South Korea, to Germany. As I've, You've heard this saga. They lost it, they found it, they lost it again. It was supposed to arrive yesterday. In the meantime, I'm really getting frustrated because I want to be putting out more of these videos. I've got things sitting, waiting to be edited. Um, some really nice, uh, exciting stuff. And uh, spoke to Apple this morning. They couldn't find it. And so I very, very, very sadly had to cancel the order because there's, there's one sitting on Amazon that would be here tomorrow. So I, I cancelled, with a really heavy heart, I, I cancelled my laptop and uh, have ordered another one, which I've been, it's already dispatched, it'll be with me tomorrow. It's not quite the one I wanted, but it's easily good enough. And then, of course, what happens an hour after I do that? <laughs> Ding dong, there's the UPS man on the doorstep. And um, I have to say to him at this point, as advised by Apple, I'm so sorry, mate, I can't accept it. And this poor guy's face, I suspect he had to drive from Staffordshire to deliver it to me. This poor guy's went, didn't say anything, just beeped, turned around, walked, got in the truck and walked away. And I felt absolutely terrible all all day as a result of this. Um, it's just one of those things. If, if, if they'd been just a little bit clearer as to when and how things were going, if they hadn't lost it twice and put me through hell over the last week, then there would have been a problem. I'd have it now. So just if you're out there, Mr. UPS man, please, it's nothing personal. It's nothing to do with you. It's your bosses and whoever built that website that said, you know, it's it's in the system somewhere. Um, so, yeah, that's that's been the saga of the day. And another hour and a half spent on the phone to Apple this morning trying to work out where it was and what we were doing with it. So hopefully by this time tomorrow, I will have a laptop that can do everything I want it to do. And um, I just hope that poor UPS man... Uh, doesn't hate me too much. I mean, he, as, as my wife Anna said, he gets paid one way or the other. Well, you know, he would have had to do the journey back anyway. But um, yeah, I felt really terrible for him. So yeah, that's the saga of the laptop part fifteen. Hopefully, the the happy ending is in sight. So anyway, there we are. That's that's my uh, that's my story. Yeah, I, I, Michael, I thought it had arrived yesterday. I got so excited, and um, it was a, uh, a, a an extension cable. You know, a real nothing, nothing exciting. So anyway, the, the lark in the clear. Lots of people are saying that they will love it. Um, yeah, and Albert, you're right. The the comments are are disabled. I keep going back in and turning them back on, and they keep turning them back off. I wonder if it's because it's got the word kids in the title, and in kids videos they do suggest you don't have comments enabled. I'm going to go in right now and turn them back on. This is the third time today I've done this. And I'll look into why it might be doing that. It's a very strange little glitch at the moment. It never does it to me. It's always to Katie's QC Kids. As I say, I think it's because the word, it's got the word kids in the title. But she has done a smashing job with today's video. It's really funny. Uh, it's all her work. She, she initiated all the cameos. There's a couple of cameos. Uh, one from uh, her little brother who at the moment is sincerely, he's downstairs with his iPad making his own music teaching video. This is my six-year-old. <laughs> what have I started? Um, and she managed to get her grumpy old dad to take part as well. Uh, he's a really grumpy old so-and-so. 
So uh, just just watch out for him. So I'm turning it up. I'm turning comments on again. Allow all comments. Standard license. There's nothing on it that says it shouldn't be uh, shouldn't be accessed. So hopefully you can all put a nice comment on Katie's videos. I'll go in again actually and check the other video from yesterday so that we can get to it. Because um, yeah, it's very frustrating. She says, "Can I see the comments?" And I say, "Sure." And we go and have a look, and it says it's been disabled. And it's like three times in a row. Yeah, it's turned it off. Okay, so you can comment on yesterday's, which is the homework song, um, and today's, which is called Halfway There, which is all about uh, going for a drive with your dad driving and your little brother going, are we nearly there yet? It's a really good song. She's taught it really well. And as I say, a couple of cameos. Worth, worth a look. Okay. So we're doing really well. Uh, everything seems to be working so far. Touch wood. The Laptop Saga is close to being finished. Um, so we're going to look at these lovely songs today. Building Bridges, which we know from early on in the channel. Viva la Compagnie, which we uh, started looking at yesterday. And this beautiful song, The Lark in the Clear Air. And uh, I will be dedicating this to some dear, dear friends. Um, but I'll say more about that as we go. Um, but yes, otherwise I hope everybody is really well. I hope you've had a really nice day over the last 24 hours. There's lots going on. Um, if we turn on the news, it's awful. If we look out the window, the sun is shining, you know, the, the, the wind is blowing in the trees, and um, I think there's a case to be made for limiting our access to the news. I think it's as important every, every time, a little bit like when they say if, you, if you're if um, you drinking coffee, you should have a glass of water to help your system cope with it, seeing as caffeine is actually a poison. Um, and the reaction to it, you know, all that, that increased energy is a rea reaction to your brain trying to flush the, the caffeine out. When you look at the news, you know, you get that rush of, oh my goodness, it's all awful. You know, I think it's worth just just however much news you look at, make sure you, you do something nice, whether it's singing, whether it's knitting, whether it's going for a walk, painting, um, whether you're painting your fence or not. And I've got a nice photograph of a, a beautifully painted fence, which I was sent yesterday. Um, whatever you're doing, you know, make sure that you're flushing that out, okay? Keeping safe, keeping mindful, making sure that you are keeping well away uh, from uh, anybody else who, who you're not with, when you're not isolating with. Um, but no, I think there's there's a, a case to be made for limiting the amount of uh, of doom and gloom that we take on board, and just making sure that we look after our mental health. Because um, I've been finding myself waking up first thing in the morning and you know just checking that that website, checking the news, and just shaking my head at the situation and and feeling desperate about it. And actually, there's nothing I can do here except what I'm doing, which is keeping safe, keeping isolated, looking after my family, and trying to just keep some semblance of life moving forwards. Um, and that's the nice thing about what we're doing here. You know, singing, the voice is free. Singing with other people, well, it's, we can do it online. Um, it's not quite as good as, uh, as meeting up in person, but, you know, we'll make the best of it, won't we, folks? Okay, so we're going to start in a few moments, as we always do. I'll be quiet for a few seconds, make a change, and uh, then I'll make a cut here when we post it online later on. All right, so thanks, everyone. A very good afternoon, everybody. It's two o'clock. It's time for Quarantine Choir. Thanks so much for joining me. Uh, whether you're here live or whether you're joining us later on, you're all welcome. You're all members of this wonderful group. Uh, as you can see today from our programme, we've got another nice new song. Uh, today's song is The Lark in the Clear Air, which is a beautiful traditional Irish song. And I want to dedicate this song to some very special people. Um, I, first of all, to my lovely friend Heather, who is a constant supporter on this channel. Um, she sends me lovely messages, and uh, I just want to thank her for her message today. She suggested this song. I have to confess, I had thought about it some while back. It just come into my head, oh, we must do that at some point. Um, and then I'd promptly forgotten that I thought about it. And um, Heather sent me the message this morning, just said, you know, just a suggestion. I was singing this song as I was going around and just thought it might be nice. 
and um, for a number of reasons it's a it's a perfect choice for today first of all it is all about uh, thinking about others and your soul soaring dear thoughts are in my mind and my soul soars enchanted as I hear the sweet lark sing in the clear air of the day perfect song for the situation we find ourselves in um, it's also uh, I'm going to dedicate this song to everybody in my wonderful choir the larks of Chepstow the larks community choir um, tomorrow is supposed to be a, a big day for all of us um, where I was taking over the leadership of the group entirely uh, and I was very much looking forward to that as it stands obviously things are going to be slightly different we're going to have a meeting this Saturday to discuss what that's going to look like um, but you know I'm dedicating today's song the lark in the clear air to my lovely friends the larks to my larks family um, and looking forward to moving forward with them into the future and with any of you that are out there that want to be part of the Larks experience one of the things that I'm going to be talking about is uh, having virtual online members as well as face-to-face -face members so when we're back uh, rehearsing whenever that is I will be streaming the Larks rehearsals uh, and so that you'll be able to take part in them wherever you are whenever you are uh, live or, or later on and so we're going to be perhaps one of the world's first, I don't know, but I should imagine we are, one of the world's first live and online choirs. You heard it here first, first folks. Um, so let's get ourselves warmed up. Uh, we'll sing through Building Bridges, as I say. We'll sing through Viva La Compagnie. Um, and I've got a little update for you on that. I received a message, as I always do. Whenever we do, do something in a different language, I always get at least one email very kindly but very firmly telling me all the things that I've done wrong in terms of pronunciation. I have to say, yesterday's was a doozy, so thank you to the lady who sent me the e an email telling me one particular word was, was wrong. <laughs> and I'll share that with you all. Um, and then we will learn this beautiful song. Now, we're probably not going to be on the air for an hour today. Uh, lots going on here at Quarantine Choir Towers. Uh, and so we'll probably be uh, singing together for just over half an hour and then I'll let you get on with your day. All right, everybody. So uh, a very warm welcome to those who are just popping online at the moment. Can I invite everybody, please, to stand up for me? That's great. And uh, for those of you that aren't able to join us in standing, that's, of course, absolutely fine. As always, please bring yourself to the edge of your seat. Give yourself a straight back and a long neck. Those of you that are able to stand, plant your feet. Uh, your shoulders width apart, make your knees nice and soft. And everybody, if we can just start to take some nice deep breaths in and out. As I say, it's quite useful to just restrict our uh, restrict our access to the news, all this bad news. So just breathe out anything that's worrying you, anything you've read recently, you think, oh, that's awful. Just breathe it out for now. There's a lot to be said for just worrying about the stuff that we can control. So take in a nice deep breath and feel confident and blow out anything that's stressing you anything that's worrying you any bad news let's get rid of it okay and we take in that lovely clean air we feel refreshed and renewed and one more time just blow out anything that's stressing you anything that's worrying you and breathe in that lovely warm feeling of family and community and singing great and just take a few deep breaths in and out in your own time in your own way now but just with that that mindfulness, that sense of being together as you breathe in and getting rid of anything you don't need to worry about as you breathe out. And as you're doing that, I'll just invite you, as always, please, to roll your shoulders around, maybe move your neck around as well. Just loosen this up. Keep everything very, very smooth, very, very loose indeed. The, the neck tilting exercise is particularly good. Just make sure it's gentle. Uh, you're not moving too vigorously. Move your head across, tilt your head until you feel a stretch on the long side. And then if you can manage just an extra couple of millimetres over, head to the middle, take it the other way. A little bit further if you can. Head to the middle and forwards. That's great. And uh, then just roll your head around so that it feels nice and loose. Thank you, everybody. And now what we're going to do, we're just going to make a brrrr sound with our lips. So can we all do that, please? Brrrr. Fantastic. And one more nice deep breath and fantastic. Practice that for me because over the next few weeks I'm going to introduce that exercise. We're going to tune that particular sound. OK, uh, we're also if you can roll your R's, I'm just going to invite you to do that. If you can't just buzz your lips for me again. If you can roll your R's, can we go 
and it's like a satisfied purring noise okay if kit cats online she'll be able to do a particular good impression of her cats but if you can smile and roll your eyes up and down in pitch for me off we go very nice. No, notice I'm starting quite low in my register, going all the way up. As I'm going up higher, I'm going up into my falsetto voice, and I'd invite ladies to do the same. So start very low, and we'll go all the way up and back down again. Okay, so with me. Here we go. Very, very nice indeed. And just make sure you're smiling, keeping that all nice and light. We'll do a little bit of uh, humming. I'm just going to put my keyboard back to where it should be. Okay, so a nice long hum, and... Still humming. Now, for November, and... And now an ooh, and... Ooh, splendid. Off for orange. F for egg And an R One more Splendid, I'm going to have a little sip of my drink A little bit uh, slightly sore of throat at the moment Not too bad just a little bit aware that I'm doing a lot of singing at the moment. Those of you that are in the self-isolation choir or the self-assessment choirs, I've found myself calling it a couple of times, um, or as the self, self-immolation self choir, which my wife has unfortunately coined. Um, if you're in any of those groups, um, we're doing a lot, and lot, a lot of singing in the evenings at the moment um, of this wonderful, wonderful Handel's Messiah. If you've not joined, do consider coming along. Um, it's very tightly focused. There's, there's not very much chatter at all. It is all about learning this amazing piece, but it is phenomenal music. Um, and you can join at any time. You can catch up at any time. So now, look, we reach that point, and we'll just do a couple of little uh, little leaps up of a third and back down again. So if you would let me go first, please, and then you respond. My turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody. Very nice. My turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very nice. My turn. Me, me, me. And... Thank you, everybody. That's as high as we need to go for today. Splendid stuff. So now, look, I'm going to change the slide and hope I've set it up. Oh, marvellous. There we go. Bit of preparation never goes amiss. So we're going to start with building bridges between our divisions. And I've got the backing track spooled up here ready to go. And uh, if you've seen the video for this one, you know how this one goes. If you haven't, after this, go and have a look at it. Um, if you just type in... Oh, well, if, you, if you just look on the channel, there's a playlist. In fact, I hope you've all seen at the top of the channel when you come to YouTube, um, you've got videos and, and, and then playlists under the Home Choir channel and everything's organised in there. So you've got all the quarantine choir rehearsals together. You've got all the quarantine chorus rehearsals, which are the classical music ones. And then you've got music videos. And under music videos, you can just see those uh, those mosaic videos and things like building bridges with the words on screen you can sing along with them all right so it's a quick way of getting to that um so the song the song is building bridges between our divisions and there are some actions here so we're going to go building bridges between our divisions i'm going to line myself up on the screen so you can see both hands there we are all right, so let's sing that one together. Ready? Building bridges between our divisions. Very nice. The next line goes, I reach out to you. Will you reach out to me? Let's do the one together. I reach out to you. Will you reach out to me? Very nice indeed. The next bit goes, With all of our voices and all of our visions. Let's do that one together. With all of our voices and all of our visions. Very nice. The last line is, Friends, we shall make such sweet harmony. 
together. Friends, we shall make such sweet harmony. So let's sing it together all the way from the beginning. Okay, if you need to practice, you can you can pause the stream, you can take it back, you can pause this live video, you can take it back as many times as you like, okay, uh, and, and practice, and then when you press play, it'll just pick up where you left off. All right, so but from the very beginning, with the actions, here we go. Building bridges between our divisions, I reach out to you, will you reach out to me? With all of our voices and all of our visions, friends, we shall make such sweet harmony. Well done, everybody. So now we'll sing, we'll sing along with the backing track. And what you'll notice is that this works as part of a round. So we might do this a couple of times. First time, though, everybody sing with me. You'll hear the other voices as well. That's fine. We're using this as a bit of a way of practicing singing along in harmony because um, it's a useful skill and it's something you need to practice. Uh, if you've not sung in harmony before, it's a good way of learning it. And if you're used to singing in harmony, um, the fact that we're all in lockdown, it's a skill that perhaps some of us are in danger uh, of losing a little bit. So let's sing it all together, and then we'll sing it a second time. And I'm going to invite you to sing. I'm going to sing at a different time to the main tune than that, right? Because I need the practice as well. So here we go. Here is Building Bridges. And do enjoy. There's a bit of an intro. Let's hope it works. It works. Here we go. Building bridges between our divisions, I reach out to you, will you reach out to me? With all of our voices and all of our visions, friends, we shall make such sweet harmony. Really good. He's got a nice voice, this guy. It's not bad. <laughs> oh, he's getting into it, though. <laughs> Here we go, one more time. Building bridges between our divisions. I reach out to you, will you reach out to me? With all of our voices and all of our visions, friends, we shall make such sweet harmonies. Building bridges between our divisions. I reach out to you, will you reach out to me? out to me with all of our voices and all of our visions friends we shall make such sweet harm one more time building bridges between our divisions i reach out to you will you reach out to me with all of our voices and all of our visions Friends, we shall make such sweet harmony. Hey! Nice job, everyone. Give yourselves a round of applause. I think that works rather well. Gosh, I tell you what, it's hard singing. I really have... I, I really do need to sing in harmony more. It's it's You get used to the sound of your own voice, particularly in isolation. I do a lot of singing, as you know. Um, and actually having another voice, particularly if it's my own, but you have another voice going against you if you're wearing headphones. It's a really good bit of practice. So what we're going to do, we're going to have a go uh, at singing. And I'm going to sing the second entry. Now, you can sing any part you like. If you want to wait and come in wherever you want, but use this as a little bit of practice to aid you in keeping your ear in tune. All right, this is one of the key things about being a singer. The most important thing isn't this, it's your ears, okay? Being able to hear yourself, being able to hear the people around you in the choir, and being able to hear the music and, and be able to follow the beat. The ears are such an important part of being a singer, all right? So let's have some fun. Just having a check of everybody in the comments. Everyone's doing very well. Everyone's like, groovy. Thank you. All right, here we go. One more time, everyone. Good luck. <laughs> I think we'll sing with him for the first time. Here we go. 
Building bridges between our divisions I reach out to you, will you reach out to me With all of our voices and all of our visions Friends, we shall make such sweet harmony Okay, so we've got a few bars of rest He's going to go, mm, mm, mm. Okay, we'll let him take this first one Deep breath, here we go. Building bridges between our divisions. I reach out to you, will you reach out to me? With all of our voices and all of our visions, friends, we shall make such sweet harmony. Building bridges between our divisions I reach out to you, will you reach out to me? With all of our voices and all of our visions Friends, we shall make such sweet harmony Building bridges between our divisions I reach out to you, will you reach out to me? With all of our voices and all of our visions, friends, we shall make such sweet harmony. Great job, everybody. Well done. Okay, if you need a bit of practice on harmony, consider just using that one once a week or something. It's really good for the ear. Great job, everyone. Right, have a sip of your drink. How are we doing? Doing well. Excellent. Now... An update to Viva La Compagnie. I received a very, very nice email from a lady whose name I'm afraid I can't remember. Sorry. <laughs> I think it was Iona, but I, I may be wrong. Um, who told me that I was singing the words wrong. Now, as I said, this is not unusual, as, uh, as Tom Jones would have said. Uh, not unusual for a singer to get the words wrong. Um, and do remember, as I said, I studied GCSE French and German. That was a very long time ago. And no Heather in particular is shaking her head at this point. Um, but uh, when I was singing Viva la Mort, bear in mind, uh, I, I learned this song. It's an, it is actually an English song. Uh, and so it's supposed to be sung with a fairly thick English accent. But I do have to concede, Viva la Mort means long live death. And that's not what we're singing. We're singing Viva l'amour. Okay, viva l'amour. So please, join in with me. And do, and someone's going to say, you're still not saying it right. Well, I'm just going to have to live with it. And so we... <laughs> My apologies. So anybody French who's listening and said, oh, his accent is very, very bad. You are correct. I, I own, own up to it. It doesn't bode well for the Contique de Genre scene, but we'll do our best. So we're going to sing this song one more time. We're going to sing Viva la Company. We're going to do our best to make sure we sing Viva la Mort, Long Live Love, as opposed to Viva la Mort, which is Long Live Death, which is not what we want to sing. All right, so we're going to sing with me. And if you weren't here yesterday, you'll pick it up in no time. All right. Um, remember the chorus is Viva la, Viva la, Viva la Mort, Viva la, Viva la, Viva la Mort, Viva la Mort, Viva la Mort, Viva la Company. Okay, we're going to go a little bit more French on this one, okay? Remember the tenors and altos? Viva la, viva la, viva la mort. Viva la, viva la, viva la mort. Viva la mort, viva la mort. Viva la compagnie. And the bass is viva la, viva la, viva la mort. Oh, hang on. Viva la, viva la, viva la mort. Viva la, viva la, viva la mort. Viva la mort, viva la mort. Viva la compagnie. So let's. that's the chorus. It's a call and response song, so it's my turn first, and everybody sings uh, Viva la Compagnie as a response to me. All right, let's have some fun uh, and have, uh, have a good time. Right, let every good singer now join in our song. Viva la Compagnie, good health to each other and pass it along. Viva la Compagnie, viva la, viva la, viva la moi. Viva la, viva la, viva la moi. Viva la moi, viva la moi, viva la Compagnie. A friend in the comments on the YouTube site. Viva la Compagnie, in love and good fellowship let us unite. Viva la Compagnie. Viva la, viva la, viva la moi, viva la, viva la, viva la moi, viva la moi, viva la moi, viva la compagnie. 
Now wider and wider our channel expands. Viva la company! We'll sing to our comrades in faraway lands like Chepstow. Viva la company! Viva la, viva la, viva la moi! Viva la, viva la, viva la moi! Viva la moi, viva la moi, viva la company! With friends on the internet singing our song. Viva la company! We'll banish our troubles, it won't take us long. Viva la company! Viva la, viva la, viva la moi! Viva la, viva la, viva la moi! Viva la moi, viva la moi, viva la, moi. Viva la company! Should time or occasion compel us to part, Viva la company! These days shall forever enliven our heart. Viva la company, everybody! Viva la, viva la, viva la moi! Viva la, viva la, viva la moi! Viva la moi, viva la moi! Viva la company! One more time! Viva la, viva la, viva la moi! Viva la, viva la, viva la moi! Viva la moi, viva la moi! Viva la company! Long live love! Thank you, everybody. Well done. Très bien. That is very good. Do you have a licence for this minky? <laughs> Do you have a rim? Oh, dear. Wonderful stuff. So, how are we doing in the comments? Lots of people having a lovely time. Exactly. Love, not death. Viva l'amour. Exactly. So, there we are. I hope that was a bit better. Apologies. Tell you what, if it wasn't, please don't write. <laughs> Let's just accept that I'm doing my best. And... Uh, yeah, thanks all. Great stuff. Now, vive la défense. Absolutely, Graham. Absolutely. So now, let's have a look at today's uh, beautiful song, which is in English. So hopefully I won't get too many people writing and saying you're saying that wrong. Um, this is The Lark in the Clear Air. As I said at the beginning of the video, this one is dedicated to some lovely people, to my lovely friend Heather, who suggested the song and is a really uh, fantastic supporter of me and this wonderful site. So hope you're having a good day, Heather. Thank you so much for this. Um, and also to my wonderful friends, uh, my fantastic choir, the Larks of Chepstow, whom I miss hugely. I'm looking forward to seeing you uh, at our meeting on Saturday. We're going to be on Zoom having a little meeting. And then uh, as soon as we can start online rehearsals, we will reconvene. All right. So to all my lovely friends in Chepstow, looking forward to seeing you soon. And we will be singing this one when we when we meet. All right. So here we go, everybody. If you've had a chance to have a look at the music that I've linked to a free score in the comments where possible, if, if I can, I will always give you the music. But for those of you that don't want to worry about the music, you can find the words here uh, on the screen. OK, so. Here we go. Uh, and I'll sing this for you. If you don't know it, then listen along. Uh, it's a very straightforward verse song. It's strophic. It's very, very pretty. Um, it's the same musically both times. Um, but I'm sure you can you can see already from looking at the words, uh, it's beautifully evocative. So if you know it, sing along. If not, you'll be singing it in a minute. Here we go. Dear thoughts are in my mind and my soul soars enchanted as I hear the sweet lark sing in the clear air of the day. For a tender beaming smile to my hope has been granted and tomorrow she shall hear all thy fond heart would say. Now, if you've got it, sing along with me for the second verse. I shall tell her all my love, all my soul's adoration, and I think she will hear. And will not say me nay. It is this that gives my soul all its joyous elation as I hear the sweet lark sing in the clear air of the day.
Isn't that a gorgeous song? Now, I had a bit of a gremlin in the middle there, but I didn't want to stop. So I'm going to have my customary hard swallow of the throat and a drink. I'm not going to cough. I'm going to practice what I preach. Okay, so let's have a little look at that song. Uh, lots of people are saying you're enjoying it. Fantastic. Lots of you are asking to join the Lux. Of course you can. Of course you can. We'll be talking about that as we go. All right. I would love, as I've said, that I want there to be uh, Larks who come and sing together uh, for real. And they'll be uh, on a Thursday evening uh, in Chepstow. As soon as lockdown's finished, we will be there. And any of you that, are, uh, that live anywhere around Bristol, Southwest, and you want to come across and sing, you would be more than welcome. I'm sure everyone would welcome you. And there will be an online version as well where you can sing along from home. Uh, wherever you are in the world. All right, so that's the plan. Now look, um, let's have a look at this beautiful tune. Beautiful, beautiful tune. So we start off uh, at a, a really pretty much the highest note in the song. And that's, I suppose, the hardest part about this tune is getting those first three notes in tune. And particularly as you're singing dee dee Okay, try not to go dear thoughts, dear thoughts, dear thoughts. So let's just sing that a couple of times, everybody. Just dear thoughts. Remember to smile because they're dear thoughts. Here we go. And dear thoughts. And again, dear thoughts. One more time. Dear thoughts. Very, very nice. And of course, the important word is thoughts, not dear. So let's not have dear thoughts. Let's have Dear thoughts. All right, I'll sing the first phrase, sing it back for me. Okay, so it's one, two, dear thoughts are in my mind. Everybody, dear thoughts are in my mind. Lovely, my mind. And then, and my soul soars enchanted. After two, one, Two, and my soul soars enchanted. Very, very nice. Now, you'll probably have noticed I'm emphasizing the words soul with a nice bit of just what's called tenuto, bit of a stress. And my soul. And then soars en, soars en, chanted. Rather than chanted, it's chanted. So the second syllable is lighter to reflect the the, uh, the impetus of the song. So let's sing, and my soul soars enchanted. One, two, and my soul soars enchanted. Very nice. And then we sing the, the same as the first line, but with different words. As I hear the sweet lark sing, everybody. As I hear the sweet lark sing. I always find it helps to make the word sweet, particularly sweet. As I hear the sweet, the sweet. It's got two syllables, so sweet. So let's just sing that line one more time and really enjoy it. One, two. As I hear the sweet lark sing. And then this beautiful line. In the clear air of the day. Everybody. In the clear air of the day. Fabulous. Let's sing from the beginning to there. We've got the second half of the song to learn, although it'll come as no surprise to you that the last line is the same as the second line musically. Okay, so here we go. From the very beginning. One, two... Deep breath, and dear thoughts are in my mind, and my soul soars enchanted as I hear the sweet lark sing in the clear air of the day. Thanks, everyone. So now, this is uh, this is the real heart of the song. I have listened to this. It goes one, two, for a tender beaming smile to my hope has been granted. 
Now, if you can sing that in one breath, that's fantastic. If not, take a breath after smile. I just find it's easier, if you can do that in one breath, it's easier to sing the, the high note that follows smile, because you don't have to take a breath and then pitch it. So if you can, take a great big cold breath like we practice every time, okay, you can get all the way through that phrase, all right? So I'll sing that for you one more time. If you know it, please sing with me. Ready? One, two. For the tender beaming smile to my hope has been granted. Very nice. It really helps to, to lighten the sound. So we're going, uh, hope has been granted. Some notes are stronger and some notes are lighter. Let's sing that one all together for a tender. And don't forget to smile on your beaming smile. One. Two, for a tender beaming smile to my hope has been granted. I nearly ran out of breath there. Good. And then the last line is, and tomorrow she shall hear all my fond heart would say. Which is pretty much uh, the, the same as the second line, except with a, a little bit at the end. So let's sing. And tomorrow she shall hear. One, two. And tomorrow she shall hear all my fond heart would say. Fantastic, everybody. Let's sing it from the beginning. And then let's have a go. We'll go straight into the second verse and sing it all the way through. OK, so let's make this a bit of a performance. As I said at the start, this today's going to be a slightly shorter rehearsal than usual, um, partly to save my voice. As you can probably hear, it's a little bit rough. And I've got lots of Messiah to sing tonight. We have the alto rehearsal tonight. Um, so I would invite you all to enjoy the rest of the day after this. Thank you so much for coming along. It's always wonderful to see you. Um, we've got 59 people on at the moment, 35 likes. That's great. Let's get those likes up if we can, folks. Uh, and do remember, if you have a minute, go and watch Katie's video. Um, she's putting them out every day. She's doing a fabulous job. Give her a like. If the comments are working, uh, then then please do give her uh, send her a nice comment. I'm having to turn them on fairly regularly. I don't know why that is. YouTube is still a bit of a mystery to me. Let's have a look at the comments still on. They are good. So you can all go and give Katie a little bit of uh, of positive feedback. As I say, it's a, a couple of uh, cameos from her little brother and a grumpy old dad. Okay, so let's enjoy together, everybody, the lark in the clear air. And then wherever you are, have a fantastic day. Do take care of yourselves, all right? So here we go. Enjoy. Deep breath. Dear thoughts are in my mind And my soul soars enchanted As I hear the sweet lark sing In the clear air of the day For a tender beaming smile To my hope has been granted And tomorrow she shall hear All my fond heart would say Now this is where we smile and fill it with as much love as we can I shall tell her all my love, all my soul's adoration, and I think she will hear me, and will not say me nay. It is this that gives my soul all its joyous elation. As I hear the sweet lark sing in the clear air of the day. Thank you.
thanks so much everybody i really hope you enjoyed that song thanks again to heather and to my lovely friends the larks i also just want to say a, a big thank you to the to the people who over the last couple of weeks have been kind enough to send gifts and donations um to my family and myself it's really hugely appreciated it is not compulsory neither is it required but uh to those of you that have been generous to send us a couple of tips thank you so much it's hugely appreciated. Um, so everybody, I look forward to seeing you if you're in the uh, self-isolation choir. I have to think really hard about it these days. Um, then I look forward to seeing you this evening. It's alto rehearsal that you're all very welcome to come along. Uh, if you just fancy popping along and having a look, just put the self-isolation choir into YouTube. You can watch for free. Um, but do consider subscribing to it if you can, because it's all really helpful. It's going to charity. Part of the money is helping pay the bills here as well. Um, otherwise, I will see you all for Quarantine Choir tomorrow. Um, if you're interested, by the way, in sending a video to me for any reason, uh, whether it's uh, one of the jokes that I'm, that I'm looking forward to receiving from you for the banter section we were talking about, or if you want to be part of a mosaic video, um, there's an, a video I've put up on the channel just today explaining how to use your phone to record and send it in. Uh, it's a it's a five minute watch uh, and it's worth, I think, having a look at. But in the meantime, everybody have a great day. Do take care. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Be well. I'll see you soon. Thanks, folks. <laughs>